Hey everybody, welcome back. Levi Gardner from Urban Roots. Welcome to another tutorial uh, at Urban Roots on growing. Coming to you from our makeshift studio uh, that we've set up inside of our office and education center. Uh, we are right now at the peak of the coronavirus pandemic and so we hope that you and your family are safe and cared for. Uh, and during this time we want to give you some more insights, tips, tricks on growing or starting your own garden. Whether you are a first timer or you've been doing it for years, we want to share with you some knowledge and insight that we have about things that have worked really well for us. So the uh, next few of these tutorials are going to be about uh, starting your season, um, seeding, germination, um, seeds, uh, just everything kind of wrapped up in that. And today we're going to talk specifically about containers. Throughout the year we get a lot of questions on what sort of containers and watering and light setup and all those things. And so we're going to be answering those questions in these next tutorials. Uh, to just start, one of the things that a lot of folks don't realize is that for most of our annuals, uh, which is most of what we're growing in a garden, we need three things uh, to get germination. We need a media, which means a soil or a water, something that the plants are growing in. We need uh, temperature, heat, and then we also need moisture. A lot of folks assume that we also need light, and while there are some annuals that are what's called photodormant, which means they won't germinate unless they have light, for most annuals what they actually need is heat, but because we're often getting our heat and our light from the same source, that's why we confuse them, but most annuals don't need that light until they've started uh, the photosynthesis process. So when we're getting started, we need to be thinking about those three things, media, uh, temperature, and moisture. So we've got here, I have a collection of different containers that we start with, and I just want to explain those a little bit. So at Urban Roots, we use these, uh, we call them uh, bio boxes, but they're biointensive flats, part of the grow biointensive system. You can see they're pretty heavy duty. Uh, they're made of one by four cedar that we kind of rip down. They're about 14 inches by 23 inches. And then they've got quarter inch slats on the bottom, which helps for drainage. Uh, and they're screwed in at the end. So these are pretty heavy duty, um, and there's a couple of massive benefits we get from these. Uh, first off, because they're so heavy duty, they can handle up to 50 pounds, which means we can use different types of media in the containers. And again, when I say media, I just mean the soil or the, the mixture that we're growing plants in. So we can use a mix of compost and topsoil and starter media and amendments in these because they're so strong. Uh, secondly, because they're um, a reusable material, they're not contributing to plastic waste or anything like that, but we can use them again and again and again. So many of these we built six, seven, eight years ago, we've used 50 to 100 times, and other than occasionally having to replace one um, kind of member because maybe the screws break through or something like that, we get a lot of uses out of them. Um, the other thing that's great is because there's no individual cells, we can grow 500 plants in here for a short time, or we can grow 15 plants for a much longer time. Uh, they've got a lot more depth on them, so that's really big benefit. We also, to build with these, um, have these jigs that we built, which look similar to some of the ones we use in our outdoor growing beds. And so we have uh, four different jigs, whether we want to plant 50 seeds or 75 or 100 or 150. You can see they've got a handle on them and it's just uh, 5 eighths plywood. We can, after we fill it up with media, we can place that in there and it kind of marks out exactly where our seeds go. Uh, again, all of this takes time and energy to build, but once we've built it, it gives tremendous benefit for our season. Um, and if you have a wood shop, you can build some of these things with relatively simple skill. You can even find the plans for these uh, for free online if you just look up biointensive flats. Um, but for many of you, you're probably familiar with these plastic containers. Uh, these are called trays or cells. Um, and they're just, uh, the name of them is the number of cells. So this one's called a 72. Uh, and then this is called a 1020 because it's 10 inches by 20 inches. Uh, this one's called a 128, and you can see that these all uh, place in here pretty easily, like that. A um, couple benefits about these, they're very inexpensive. Uh, generally, most of these cost about a dollar each, um, and they're uniform, and you don't have to build anything to, to have them. Uh, a couple of the downsides, generally you only get a couple seasons before they'll start to crack or break, and they are also a petroleum product, which means they're contributing to a lot of waste. Um, uh, but between those, then we get a lot of folks saying, well, can we use, you know, uh, plastic cups or recyclables? And you can even use things like egg cartons. Uh, just the important things to think about are drainage. That well, we always want to make sure that the soil is able to go through those wet, dry cycles. It's really important if the soil is just uh, staying wet the whole time, um, then we can't, uh, we'll, we're more likely to get rotting or, or dampening off in our plant. Um, 
So, but you've got egg cartons, you can use them. In fact, then uh, once you're ready to plant, you can actually just put these right in the soil if they're this like fiber material, because they'll just decompose. You can also use um, any sort of mug or, or plastic containers. And if you don't have drainage at the bottom, you can just put some pea stones or some small rocks and that will help with drainage. The other thing is once we get later in the season, a lot of these cells or smaller flats are great for some of our early season like lettuce and greens. But as we get later in the season and we need you know bigger area for our peppers or our tomatoes, we're gonna wanna use these containers. Um, again, uh, just knowing that plants need more space as they get bigger, and we'll talk about this more in future videos. Uh, as I mentioned, the benefit of these is that we will use these later in the season. And then we actually even have uh, these boxes, these really heavy duty ones that we'll use that are also built out of the same kind of one by six cedar. So uh, that's just some starter tips on containers. In future videos, we're gonna talk about media and germination and light setups. So thanks for stopping by for this tutorial on containers. Um, be sure to stop back and make sure to subscribe. Thanks.